Hello. <clears throat> so we'd look at chapter eight, um, section 8.1, example one, and we'll try to see how we can use R to solve this problem. So the question says a simple random sample of 60 items resulted in a sample mean of 35. The population standard deviation is that sigma is five. And then the first question there is, what is the standard error of the mean? And then we should find a 95% then 5% confidence, the margin of error. So I'll show you guys how we can solve all of this um, on R. All right, so this is our R here. Just gonna make it bigger. All right, so I hope everyone can see it clearly here. <clears throat> so, all right, so the first thing we have to do is to, the question says, we find the standard error of the mean, right? So it's gonna run down, down. All right, then what I want you guys to do is to list out, let's just say list the parameters, right? So the parameter is going to the question, right? We're given different parameters. So the first parameter there is the sample size, right? Which is 60 items. The next parameter is the sample mean, which is, so sample size, that's N, right? Sample mean, that's X bar, which is 35. And then Sigma, which is the population standard deviation, which is five, right? So we need to list out all those um, parameters. So N is, we store N as 60, X bar as 35 and then sigma as five, right? So we, we do all of that. Then the next thing we wanna do is to write out the equation for standard error. And I showed you guys what that equation is in class, but I'm gonna show it to you here again, just in case you forget. Um, so sigma over square root of n here, right? This is the standard error, right? Sigma over square root of n. So please take note of that. So we'll just write it out here. So we write square root as SQRT and then just put N inside there. Then you just call out the standard error again. So let's run it. So from here. Boom. So you see here that our standard error is 0 0.645. So we can just write the result we can say 0 0.65 right that's our standard error then that's that's basically our answer for a right now for b is the margin of error right and we're given 95% confidence. And I've explained to you guys what the, the confidence is all about in class, right? And how to also calculate 
the, the confidence. So basically, we know the, uh, the confidence coefficient is one minus alpha, right? So in order to get alpha, we need to do one minus the confidence coefficient, right? And that confidence coefficient is 0 0.95. So one minus 0 0.95 give us alpha, which in this case will be 0 0.05, right? Then we need to look for the z-score, right? And instead of going to um, the z table, right, to look for it, we can just ask R to do it for us using a function called qNum, right, which is basically the um, normal distribution uh, table, right? So one minus alpha or two, right? What we're doing, what we're basically doing there is, remember here, it's z alpha over two. So this part here is called the margin of error, right? Z alpha over two multiplied by the standard error is called the margin of error. So what we're doing now is to find the z alpha over two. That's what we're doing. So let's run this, this, and this. All right, so our z-score, right, is 1.96 or 1.9599, right? That's going to be our z-score, right? So with that now, we can use it to find the margin of error. But I'm just going to put a quick note here. So you know what QNOM means. And then there's another one, which is PNOM, right? That gives us the probability value. But for now, we're not really interested in in PNOM yet to we'll get to a stage where I would show you guys how to use PNOM, but we're interested in the critical value, which is 1.9, um, six. So for us to find the margin of error, we know we write down the equation as usual, right? Um, maybe I'll put here, So remember, we say it's z, z alpha over two multiplied by the standard error. So that's what I'm going to write there. Uh, z score multiplied by standard error. So, all right, so if we run this, boom. So this is what our uh, margin of error is going to be. So. Uh, result. All right, so that's our margin of error. I do want to give you guys a bonus section um, and I believe this will help you in your assignment how to calculate the confidence interval right remember the equation here is to find the confidence interval of the population mean right especially when sigma is known that is the population standard deviation is known so it's basically bar x plus or minus z alpha over two, and then sigma over square root of n. This is when sigma is known. So please take note of that. And then remember, we had different types of distribution. So the distribution we use when the population standard deviation is known is 
the Z distribution or the normal distribution, right? So let's see how we can put <clears throat> all of this into, into R. It would help you in your um, homework one, right? When you're looking at chapter eight. So basically what we have here in this um, interval estimate is to calculate the lower bound and the upper bound, right? The lower bound would be when you have to subtract X bar from the margin of error, right? And the upper bound would be when you have to add X bar to the margin of error. So I'm just gonna write out the, the equation as usual, right? So lower bound, Right, so let's run this. All right, so now we see our results there, right? Um, the confidence interval is 3. So the values kind of take between 33 to 36.27, right? So that's basically telling us that um, we're ninety five percent confident, right? That the um the population mean is going to be somewhere between these two numbers, right? Because if you look at it, our sample mean, which is thirty five, right? It basically falls between thirty three to to thirty six. So that means our uh, what's it called? Our, our population mean is going to be within those two numbers. So uh, within the range of these numbers. So please take note um, of that. All right. Thank you.